Yeah, this might have been a bad call. So a few days ago, Disney officially announced the replacement to FastPass Plus, and it is a complete mess. I took a few days to try and figure out what I thought about it, along with what it actually was, and I'm still a bit confused. So essentially, Disney Genie is a new section of the Disney Parks app that is split into two different tiers, Disney Genie and Disney Genie Plus. Ignoring the FastPass replacement for a second, Disney Genie is primarily a planner and organizer for people to better make the most out of their day. It tells you when wait times are predicted to be lower and organizes your day based on recommendations that you put in. As an optional supplementary thing, I think this could actually work out. Having this organizer should, in theory, be a pretty welcome addition to the Disney parks, and I'm curious to see how this aspect pans out in the end. However, that's not all Disney Genie is, though. There's also an additional service called Lightning Lane, which is where Disney Genie Plus comes into play. But let's keep focusing on the standard Disney Genie, though. With the standard free Disney Genie, you will be able to purchase up to two Lightning Lane Passes for two individual attractions. The Lightning Lane Passes don't come for free, like the three passes that used to come with Fast Fast Plus. Instead, you have to purchase them for each attraction you'd like to ride. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's no pricing on the individual attractions so far. All we know is that pricing for this option will vary by date, attraction, and park. Needless to say, that doesn't sound great. For Disney Genie Plus, it'll cost $20 per person per day, and basically let you choose one attraction to use Lightning Lane on at a time. Basically, you can choose one attraction at a time, and once you arrive at the ride at the return time, that's when you can select the next attraction to go through the Lightning Lane. It also has some other perks like AR lenses and some audio stuff throughout the park, but those are smaller things. Another thing to note about both Disney Genie Plus and the individual Lightning Lanes is that they are limited for each day, and it doesn't seem like you can buy them until park opening, unless you're a resort guest. If you stay in a resort, you can purchase either Disney Genie Plus or Lightning Lane starting at 7am. And that's the only perk you get as a resort guest. Hooray! God, I explained it myself and I'm still confused. Essentially, Disney kind of dropped the ball with this. Like I said, FastPass Plus wasn't perfect, but it was certainly much better and less confusing than this is. Disney Genie is just so much more confusing than it needed to be, and I don't understand why Disney complicated things to this degree. Not to mention, charging for services that used to be free clearly was not a good move considering the fan reaction. I'm definitely in the same boat. This seems to be a pretty bad replacement for the previous service, especially considering that some rides don't even work with Disney Genie Plus, which are usually the more popular rides. So even if you get Disney Genie Plus, you'll still have to pay extra to go on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and stuff like that. It's just a mess. I'm hoping at the very least the individual attraction lightning lanes stay under a decent price, but even so, paying to go on individual attractions seems so cheap in comparison to most theme parks today. It's so weird. Anyhow, I hope that somewhat cleared things up for you. To be honest, I'm not 100% clear on this myself, but I took all the information that Disney made available and tried to sum it up to the best of my ability. So what do you think of Disney Genie? Is it a good replacement or should Disney have just stuck with Fast Fast Plus? Comment down below and subscribe while you're there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.